Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday, it's 11-11, wow. I just got home, well, not true. I got home about an hour ago, I took a shower. Um, I went to Gloveworks this morning, had such a good class. I'm about to leave because today we're finally taking care of my hair. Um, I'm gonna get it cut and I'm gonna get it colored. Um, I think we're just gonna do the roots because the bottom is still like exactly the way we want it. But I'm really excited. I haven't had my hair cut since beginning of August, so it's definitely it's time. That's pretty much all I have on for today. Um, although this appointment is gonna take a while because I'm doing the color and the cut at the same time. But I thought it would be fun to bring you guys and take you to Cutler. I'll show you my outfit quickly. Really not wearing anything special at all. Just wearing a really easy top. This is like a waffle knit, long sleeve. Um, it's cropped, it's from Aritzia. I have it in gray and in black and I've been wearing them like every day. I'm like wearing all Aritzia today. <laughs> Um, these jeans are from Aritzia. They're the um, Yoko Slim and these are the Exposed Fly. It's like a dark gray black color. Super puff, shorty, which you guys know, and then just some like Adidas sneakers. And that's my look. So I'm actually going to walk to Cutler so I can listen to some music, maybe a podcast. Um, so I'll see you guys once I get to the salon. I'm gonna do a before. As you can see. My best self right now. Okay, so basically what I'm getting done is a single processing self tint. And um, the girl who's doing my hair, Mercedes, I'm gonna see her every six to eight weeks and just get my roots touched up. I have already been running around because I had to go to the bank. I pay them in cash, so I had to run to the bank because I left my cash at home, which is super convenient. Um, since I was gonna go last week, I had already got the cash, but then to the, the, tomorrow, <laughs> this morning, I was just like running around and I totally forgot to bring it with me. Hang on. The focus on this camera is really not that good and I'm not happy about it. But anyway, this is my hair. Don't know how much you can see of it. Definitely got an inch and a half off the ends because the ends were so not good. And then my roots are completely done, looking amazing. Really happy with what I got. I will leave all the info in the description box below. The girl who did my color, the girl, the girl, Aaron, who did my hair. Um, and I'll also leave a little blurb of like what they did. So if you guys are interested, you can get the same. Anyway, I'm gonna walk to the train now because it's really cold. I'll see you guys when I get home. So I'm home now. I set up something really cool for tomorrow. Um, if you guys have been following me for a while, you'll know that I shoot with this photographer and I've known him for a few years now, quite a long time actually. Um, his name is Michael. I'll link his Instagram down below because we'll see him tomorrow. But um, we do a shoot together like once a year probably and we're both free tomorrow, which like never happens. We're never free on the same day, but tomorrow we are. So I set up a little shoot with him. So right now I'm just trying to figure out like what clothes and stuff I wanna bring. Um, because it's just a test like there's not gonna be a stylist there or anything. It'll just be me and him I'm gonna do my own makeup and all that. So I'm gonna bring a few lingerie things which reminds me that I have a lace bodysuit that I should bring um, So yeah, I'm just gonna bring like a few bodysuits and some other fun options I actually spoke to my agent this morning and I messaged her and I was like, I really want to do, I should put you guys down here. Ah, 
I need like a, I need a different stand now that I got my camera. I'm just gonna have to hold you guys because I have nothing to put you on right now. Basically, I messaged Jenny this morning and I asked her, I was like, what do you think? Should we do a new test? Um, because I like to do one to two paid tests a year. I've spoken about this before. These are like test shoots that the agency will set up for me. Most of the time I pay for them. And basically those pictures go in my portfolio and that's what helps get me jobs. I was thinking because I obviously dyed my hair and I feel really good about my body right now that I think it's a good time to do a new shoot or a few new shoots um, and just kind of like revamp my book <clears throat> and get some new photos. So I emailed her and she responded like five minutes later. She was like, it's as if your ears were burning um, because she was actually thinking of doing the same. So the test that I'm doing tomorrow is not one of those tests. This is just something that me and him are doing together. Um, it'll be good content for Instagram also. And who knows, maybe a few of those will go in my book, but it, it'll be nice regardless to get in a few new photos with my new hair. So I'm gonna go and finish packing so that I don't have to do it tomorrow. And then um, I'll see you guys again tomorrow at the shoot and I'll show you what we end up shooting with. Good morning guys, it is now the next day. It's, I think it's 11 a.m. I have to leave in like 30 minutes to go to the shoot. I'm just having a quick pre photo shoot snack, hard boiled eggs, my go-to. If you guys have been following me for a long time, you will know that I am an egghead a little bit, just a little bit. So I'm meeting Michael at his studio at 12. Studio is not too far from here, so that's really convenient. Um, and I have all my clothes in a little suitcase right here. Um, so that makes it like really easy to bring back and forth. I'm probably just gonna take an Uber there and back. And then I also have some jackets on my bed that I'm gonna take with me. And something that I like to do when I do these kind of tests is like bring a little bag of makeup and hair stuff so I can touch myself up as we shoot. Uh, I told you guys yesterday that, what was that? It was really weird. Um, anyway, I, because there's no hair and makeup artist, I have to do my hair and makeup myself. Um, so for my hair, I just like to bring some texturizing spray and some dry shampoo. One of the biggest things that I struggle with with my hair is like volume and just giving it that nice, like messy, natural look. Uh, so I'm bringing that and then I also have this little bag um, with a bunch of makeup stuff in it. This is actually crazy. I wonder if this is my smoke detector that's doing that. Anyway, um, quickly gonna show you guys what I'm bringing for makeup. Um, I just have like a bunch of stuff in here. I have bronzer, I have some concealer for touch-ups, and powder for shine, really important. This is like a concealer that I like to use. This is one from Fenty Beauty. I have my bronzer from Milk Makeup, a bunch of brushes. Um, oh. This is what I have on my eyes right now. I love to do my waterline. Really makes my eyes pop in photos. So I just have this one from L'Oreal. And then, um, brows, super important. And then I also just have some like makeup wipes just in case I need them. <laughs> so that's what I'm bringing with me. So yeah, I'm gonna go eat my eggs and then I'm gonna get ready and I'll see you guys at the studio. Okay, I'm with Michael, get in the video. This is like our tradition, we always shoot in January, so we have natural light, we have a fantastic photographer, and we're gonna make some magic, right? Say right? Right. <laughs> right? <laughs> since I haven't filmed in a few hours. We've shot a lot. We've shot a lot of amazing stuff. Um, I'm gonna show you a few on the computer. I'll give you a sneak peek. I'm 
home. I've actually been home for a long time. Um, it's like almost 10 p.m. Um, I came home and I have a bunch of emails that I need to look at. I came home, I showered, I had dinner. <sighs> I was so hungry once I got home, I was like, I need to eat. I need to eat, otherwise I was literally gonna go crazy. I had such an amazing shoot today. I'm gonna insert some of the selects from the shoot because Michael already emailed them to me, actually. I've been going through them the last two hours. But yeah, I'm really happy with how it went overall. I love the photos and I can't wait to post them. I actually, I, I always do this when I shoot with him. I literally, I can never save them. I always have to post one right away. So I'll show you which one I posted. Um, this one. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, it's linked in the description box. Go and check me out. But anyway, that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new. And I will see you in the next one.